forgiveness. Especially for Jason. <laughs> no, no. Always forgiveness. <laughs> for, <laughs> yes. Doesn't sound very Medea like. Forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. Forgiveness. <laughs> forgiveness. No, it should be revenge. I mean, Jesus. No. Good God, no. The best revenge is, is indifference. If you can. I am not a mother, so I don't have that experience. This is one of the few times we work with a clear narrative, because we normally don't work uh, with, with stories, we work with concepts, ideas, so everything is quite abstract. So with motherhood, uh, I think as well as with other uh, emotions that would run through the piece. I think Thomas managed to make choreography in such a way that uh, I'm capable of, through the movement and through the physicality, kind of uh, have an outburst of the right emotion. So I think there he was also a little bit of a magician. He made it easy for me. I'm not an actress, so it's hard to relate to something you don't know, uh, so as being a mother. But then I have my kids, and I feel they are my kids.
there are scenes in which she is the mother, but I didn't actually set out to, to portray motherhood. How can I? I'm a man and I have no children. So <laughs> what is my take on it? But actually, my mum saw the show and she said, is this your view on your childhood? <laughs> I was like, mum, it's a story of Madea, so I'm still alive. I wonder why with my age now I still feel the need to bang it up a hill. I mean, just to go like and bring up your whole body, but I've been doing that all my life. You go out and you do an hour of like bringing your body up to limit of, of exertion or, or consciousness of your body. And there is a similarity to the, to, to, the, to the biking. And I think it's that release as well, that release of adrenaline, that, that. But then again, that's something that's similar to when you're really dancing, when you're really physically dancing, and when you're really physically doing something, it's, it's addictive. Ein fast 2500 Jahre altes Stück. Ein antiker Mythos. Ein Tanz der Rache. Mit aller Wucht des Archaischen. Im Zentrum eine Frau. Medea, die Rachsüchtige, die Gequälte. Opfer oder Täterin? Was bleibt von Medea? It's a strong woman that takes decisive decisions that it's gonna make a lot of impact and that's all those insane things just to get him nowadays it's kind of weird to think that a woman has to do all of that at the end of the story she's the one that gets most hurt you know because she's killed everyone they don't allow her anymore to go into her own kingdom so uh, she's ended up with with nothing and but she she kind of did it we have to check our own actions. We are responsible for our own actions. That's something that goes through all the things I make. And uh, Medea is the most dark. I have a tendency to dark. And so Medea was great for me. Although I'm actually quite happy. So there you go, duality. Everyone is the big team here, yeah. And everyone is guilty also. Yeah, it's a bit like, like life, no? <laughs>
I'm a company here because I'm stubborn and I won't give up even when uh, you know like business sense that I should not have had a company but uh, no it's what I do and what, what we need to do and I believe in it so I continue doing it and now we have luck that we have access to so many marvelous dancers that you can see me there I mean got Alba who's a generation of 10 years back and then you have Paula and Duel and, and, and Naya and all because the younger dancers you know like the people want to come and work with you you should never take that for granted. I think he's very humble and there is so much that everyone learns out of him and probably he learns out of the dancers. Wow. I work with him since 2008. It's many, many years. Yeah, you don't stick so long if it's not nice, right? <laughs> So I feel very free in his work also, and I feel I understand what he wants also at this point. It took me some time. <laughs> now I'm getting a little bit closer, I think. I've never worked with Alba before, but I've looked up towards her, you know, because I, I know her from before, and I've always wanted to, to dance with her. Alba is incredible at dancing and, and, and performing. So there's a good answer when you're doing that with somebody who is so committed to the character. Düsternis und fröhliche Gelassenheit. Die Dualität, die in allen Menschen angelegt ist. Gut, böse, Schuld, Unschuld, Verzweiflung, Glück. Darum geht es Thomas nun. Nie zufrieden, aber glücklich, so beschreibt er sich. Ein Magier der kleinen Gesten, ein vom Tanz Besessener. I always think, oh, I'm getting old now. But um, I still want to create dance and I'm still, uh, I'm still looking to make a piece I actually like. I just look at them and think, oh God. So mistake, mistake, mistake. But also, thankfully, actually, as you get older, you think, oh no, that was good. That works, that works. I'm lucky, I'm, I'm really lucky because we've had enough success that we can work and not too much success. <laughs> so I get the wrong idea that, you know, like I'm some sort of like dance god, which I really am not and I'm so aware of it, you know? But hell, I'm just Thomas. I just, I just make dance and, and live here. And I'm quite aware that how lucky I am to, to have that. Everybody dies, surprise, surprise. We tell each other lies, sometimes we try to make it feel like we might be right, we might not be alone. 